First of all, let's add an object to our scene. Now, we will create a new material in our assets window. We will assign this material to our object, the sphere. So, when we change the color of the material, the sphere's color appears different. Now, let's create a C-sharp script in our project. The first thing that we need to add to our script is a material object that will reference to the material that we created. Thus, we will be able to control it from the script. Then, let's go back to Unity and add a script reference to an object in the scene. For example, let's add it to the main camera. Also, drag the material from assets and drop it to the empty field in the script in the main camera object. Next step is to create three slider UI objects in our scene. Each slider will control one color. One for the red color another for the green, and the last one will control the blue color. Let's go back to our script. We will create a function that will be called every time one of the sliders changes value. We will configure this later. Also we will create three slider objects in our class. One object for each slider. Then, let's go to the R function and add the following line. This line creates, instantly, a new color depending the values of the sliders and assigns it to the material. Remember that the new color gets values from 0 to 1 for red, green, blue color, and transparency. Now, in Unity we may assign the sliders to the empty fields of the script in main camera. Also, we should add the call reference to the function that we created previously on the on value changed part of the sliders. In addition, in the sliders properties, don't forget to uncheck the whole numbers checkbox and to set minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 1.